Yo, VG Flame. See more better here with free prescription lenses, but call me Mo, Mo Better, because I'm going to be seeing more better, looking more better, and show everyone else how I bring that loving feeling back to glasses. When I cut the transitions extra active with the gold flash mirror for your Kazal Legends. This is the Kazal. Let me take everything out. Of course, you get the collector's edition. What is this? Snakeskin? I don't know what it is, but this is the Kazal 664. Four slash three color 001 the black gold and the 56 eye size take everything as it comes your Kazal cleaning cloth is one of the largest out there the frame you got all the book that goes in it, it shows you uh, what they call the look book all the different frames got puffy in there the original designer Carl Zaloni they don't have there it is. there's Spike there's Spike I knew he was in here somewhere but you got uh, all the books that come with it and of course this is the carrying bag if you want to carry around the hard case you got the cleaning cloth that uh, that doubles as the cleaning cloth and inside here the star of the show the main attraction the Kazal 664 of course all Kazals are made in Germany that German engineering don't believe me there it is and of course again this is Model number 664 slash 3, color 001, which is the classic shiny black and gold and the 56 eye size, 18 bridge, 140 temple length. Now this also comes in a matte black, a crystal, and I believe a red raspberry. But Vici Flame, I get the honor of doing his glasses. He's, I'd say up and coming, but he's already there. Um, great rapper, great hip-hop artist that's going to blow up for long. Hopefully I'll follow in his coattails. I'm right behind him. I'm putting my hours in the, the small, the, the nightclubs, the shows, and before I make it into the stadiums. And I'll show you about that. But one day I woke up and I realized I'm just a cover band. And I realized you'll never be a rock star if you're a cover band. So I'm coming out with my own thing. I'm going to have my own hits. I'm coming up with my own good energy that, that Vici came up with. And I've been reading about him. He talks about following your dreams. You don't have to just follow him. You got to chase him. You got to run. Put your hands on your knees. Deep breathe hard when you get tired. But keep chasing him. Don't give up on him. There's so much truth to that. So follow your passions. But let me go ahead and get started. Because he wants to rock these things. I'm going to take out the original gradient tint demo lenses. Of course he's going to receive all the manufacturer's original packaging the original lenses i'm going to put your frame into the tracing element of my blocker and i got lazy i forgot to assign this one a number let me grab this right quick he is secret agent 2851 i assign a number to every pair of glasses i make so that years from now if he ever wants new lenses for this frame i can just pull this up where my paper clip go where my pad i know i got one right over here I can pull this number up and just cut lenses only and send them right to his studio and he can pop them right in himself. So let me assign that number. Secret Agent 2851. I'm going to hit start and a little stylus is going to pop up, go around, trace the inside bevel of the right side of the frame before doing the same thing on the left. Here at FreePrescriptionLenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed in quality. You buy any genuine authentic Kazal that I offer and you'll receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or non-prescription fashion lenses. My receipt has my federal ID tax number. So if you have vision insurance or unused health savings account flex dollars, you will get reimbursed for this purchase. Now you get your full reimbursement from the health savings account flex dollars. I, I do not accept any insurances. So you will get with my itemized receipt, you'll get your out of network reimbursement from your insurance company. So let me move on to the next screen. That is the shape of the lens that I'll be cutting as magnified, that green outline. But that is the shape that I'll be cutting. Let me enter your pupillary distance, which is 63 divided by 2 becomes 31.5. So I'm going to tap this minus button twice till we get down to 31.5. I want to raise the optical center up to 26. I already knew I was going to do that. So we're going to go 3 above the center and cut it at 26. So I need to get your lenses prepped. This is your right eye. Turn the axis wheel to 145. Put the power drum on minus 250. Put the lens in. Find the optical center of the lens, the spheric spherical component first, which is the 250. Check your astigmatism correction. 
and I'm going to go ahead and put three dots on these lenses and that one's already labeled R. Let me do the same thing for the left. Turn the axis wheel to 35. And put the power drum on minus 250. I don't even have to turn it. It was already there. Check everything. Make sure it is perfect before I get going. Perfect. Okay. And let me darken those so you follow at home you can see that. And I'm going to label this one the L for left. Now, if you guys missed any of that, let me recap. <laughs> Did I mention free bad jokes for the purchase of every pair of glasses old? Now, I am an authorized Kazal dealer. I don't have every frame listed. So if there's a frame that you want, I don't have on my website. Just go to the contact me page of the website. There's an email. There's a phone number. Just let me know which one you want. I'll get the price and availability. All Kazals are 20% off during 2020. Got the 20% off in 2020 deal. So, I'm a, the, this is a double-sided adhesive sticker. The black side is the sticky side. Put that one on the first block. Do the same thing now for the second one. Pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. That silver button on the back is going to attach itself to another magnet there in the arm. And the reason why I put those three dots on there... It tells me the lens is oriented in there just perfectly. So I'm going to get everything laid out as such. And make sure the lens is large enough. And it is. I'm going to hit that button. The arm's going to come down, place the block onto the right lens. We're going to do the same thing now for the lens that ain't right, which I can identify with because I ain't right neither. Put that on there. Now, the pupillary distance has copied on the left side, has copied the right. So I don't have to change anything there. Same optical center height. I rarely, if ever, would change the optical centers. I do have to change the pupillary distance depending on people's sizes of people's eyes. And now I'm going to hit that button. The arm's going to come down place the block onto the left lens. Now this is the tracer. This is the blocker. This is what's called the edger. It costs $40,000. The two combined weighs 200 pounds. I recommend everyone get their own, put it on the counter in your record studio, and then you don't have to, you can cut your own lenses at home and you won't need this guy with the two thumbs and the bad jokes to do it for you. But the actual cutting wheel is this diamond crusted wheel that's going to grind away your lens material until it's the final size. This wheel in the center is going to put the V-shaped bevel onto the lens so it'll stay inside the bevel of the frame. Now I'm going to go ahead and wake up the computer. Again, job ID number 2851. 2851, or as I like to say, installment 2851 of my 330 million volume series of making a pair of glasses for everyone in America. So stay tuned for episode number 330 million, because spoiler alert, something crazy is going to happen. Now these are polycarbonate lenses. If they were plastic, high-index plastic, or Trivex, I would select that material, but we're sticking with polycarbonate. I'm not going to polish the edge of the lens because it's not going to be seen. I'm not going to put a safety bevel on the front convex surface of the lens, but I am going to place one on the rear concave surface of the lens. Now the nice thing about this flash mirror, the gold flash mirror, now this comes in five colors. Silver, gold, green, blue, and red. Now, it looks like a, an anti-glare coating. Now, I have the Zeiss DuraVision Platinum on mine that has a bluish hue, hence the term um, on there. Now, this has a gold. It's like a more robust, like an anti-glare coating on steroids. But now, I'm going to place the magnet into the Chuck, or by now, you know I like to call it the Charles, because I just don't know this machine well enough to call it Chuck. I'm going to hit the green start button. The door closes, the clamp shuts, the lens is going to be traced by two white styluses, making sure that it's large enough to fit into the frame. On the first go around, you can see it tracing the shape of the right lens. Where's it? Where are my right lens at? There we go. And then measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know exactly and precisely where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing, which will be minimal with your prescription in this frame. Now, in just a moment, water is going to begin spraying in the back of the machine. There we go. That's there to catch the optical sawdust as it comes off the cutting wheel. Polycarbonate lenses cut dry, meaning that no water sprays onto the lens while it is cutting. Unlike the plastic, high-index plastic and Trivex I was talking about a minute ago, 
where water sprays onto the lens for the duration of those cutting cycles. Now water will spray onto your lenses, but only to wash away the optical debris that you see beginning to form on the edge of your lenses now. But your lenses are made out of polycarbonate, which is 40% thinner and lighter than regular plastic. They are virtually unbreakable. These are ballistics grade, high impact lenses, the same lens materials that our soldiers wear overseas in combat zones to protect their eyes from shrapnel, from flying debris. It has 100% UVA and UVB protection built into the lens. We know what the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays can do to your skin where your eyes are eight times more sensitive than your skin so you have permanent sunscreen for your eyes unlike the lotion screens and sprays that have to be reapplied every couple hours when you're in direct exposure to the sun there in california now speaking of protection the photochromic extra gray from zeiss also gives you 50 to 70 percent blue light protection zeiss has the most complete uv protection of any lens that's why they partner with the american cancer society they offer protection all the way up to 400 nanometers where everyone else of wavelength where everyone else stops at 380. Now if you notice your lens is completely flat it's just about to drop down onto the bevel wheel. Now you have the gold flash mirror on the front of the lens. You have the photochromic extra gray all throughout the middle of the lens with the blue light protection. You have the Zeiss DuraVision Sun anti-glare coating on the back of the lens and of course UV ultraviolet protection everywhere. So you get the most complete protection with this lens, the photochromic extra gray with the mirror. Now the reason why dark lenses absorbs the sun rays, a mirror lens reflects it back making it feel 20 to 30 percent darker. So not to mention it's going to look cool, but hey that's just another thing. He don't need my help to look cool, he can do that on his own. But as I was saying, I woke up one day realized I'm just a cover band. I was just putting lenses in other people's songs. I wanted to write my own song, so I, I came up with my own brand, starting off with one frame. But this is Christian eyewear. It's going to come with either a silver cross on the temple and on the temple tip, or a gold cross in both locations. This model number is John 316. It comes in the 55 eye size. Again, this is Christian eyewear designed in USA by me. And I won't lie, pretty much what I did is copy the Ray-Ban 2132 new Wayfarer. So you can go into any store in this country that sells the new Wayfarer sunglasses from Ray-Ban, try it on. You'll see the size, the fit, the comfort, then you know you can buy from me. Now it also comes with, you can get the dogwood. Instead of a tortoise, I came up with a, a wood color. Because I figured if you can walk up to the bell ring it if you're going to do a crucifix frame you got to bring the wood so that's what i did on this one and then of course i also did it in a purple because i had two dark colors i wanted to lighten it up somewhat plus when jesus was having to carry the cross with the crown of thorns all throughout jerusalem the roman soldiers put a purple robe around him and that's why it's the color of easter and truth be told i came up with this idea of sitting in church last easter people had the cross on bracelets, necklaces, earrings, people had on their ties, clothes, handkerchiefs, hats. And I said, how come no one's ever put a cross on a pair of glasses? So that was my Easter idea. This is color majestic purple. And again, comes with uh, silver crosses or gold crosses. But now that I have this out, where's my LA Lakers fans at who want the purple and gold? Where's my Omega Sci-Fi, the Q Dogs, who want to rock some purple and gold? Again, you can get these as sunglasses or with the clear lenses in there. And I also wonder what it's gonna look like with the gold flash mirror and these purple ones. Of course, the black ones too, the wood, but we'll see. But yeah, the gold flash mirror, so when you go outside, these will turn gold instead of just dark. So let's see if this lens fits first time around. Now I've had the pleasure of doing lenses for two musical geniuses, not just Vici Flame, but I also did for the founder and lead guitarist of Anthrax heavy metal band. You know, it's funny. It's uh, the guy was texting me. We were going back and forth on my phone and uh, texting. He was putting LOL and all this other stuff. And this guy has played before a million. He has a million followers on Twitter and he's sitting there tweeting me, texting me. Okay, so 
it didn't fit I want to take it down another tenth of a millimeter hit retouch I don't want to force the lens into the frame so I'm gonna take it down until what's known as the cold mount where it just pops in there easily it's a corny saying but the difference between ordinary and extraordinary is that little extra at the beginning I've cut every pair of lenses that get shipped worldwide so I want to make take the time to do it right I went to college for this opticianry school passed the state board exam I've got 21 years experience in the field I've personally cut over tens of thousands of pairs of glasses for people in my career and now I'm doing it for Vici but yeah the Dan Spitz I don't know how he got to do it but the NASA engineers played one of his songs on the Mars rover he has had his music played on two planets so Vici you in good company now those are my musical geniuses I've been making glasses for. He sent me a selfie, Dan Spitz did. Vici, you gotta send me a selfie, you rocking these things. Or wear them in a video. Give me a shout out at Free Prescription Lenses. Shout out at Christian Eyewear. Anybody watching this video, I'll have these frames for sale on, on this website, but I'm gonna have my own website called Christian Eyewear. Because again, all I've done is worked on producing the brand name for Ray-Ban Polo, Versace, Oakley, many others over the years. It's time I promote my own brand. Be my own rock star. And yes, I'm starting with one frame. All you haters out there want to make fun with me, but I think of the, the passage from Zechariah, do not despise small beginnings. The Lord likes to see the work begin, and I have only just begun and you can you can take that to the bank um years from now i'm gonna have so many pieces in my collection that kazal or luxotica which is ray-ban and oakley's parent company i'm gonna let them there now it snaps in there easily i'm gonna let them buy that collection get me a 10 figure check and uh walk away sit on the beach put my toes in the sand grab me a drink with a little umbrella in it and enjoy life with my wife my loving wife who has supported me through all of this and my family, follow your dreams. Don't just follow, run after it, chase at them, climb over obstacles. Dreams don't come easy. Everyone's gotta have a dream. You know the best thing about dreams? They're free. You ain't got no reason not to have a dream. They are free. You just gotta put that sweat equity into it. Hit the green star button, the door closes, the clamp's gonna shut. And it ain't easy. If it, if, if it was easy, everyone would be doing it. So it's going to trace the left side of the frame this time, making sure it's large enough to go in there. If you knew how many times, how many obstacles have come up in my path, and I would tell my wife, I will not be defeated by this. That's the difference. I've come across some obstacles. Today I got one. Customs. I'm getting the frame shipped to me, another batch. They want to know all this detail about them, drop ball test, the material, the FDA licensing from the manufacturer. I don't know what any of that stuff is, so I forwarded it to the ant manufacturer. And but I realized, hey, if it's hard for me, it's gonna be hard for someone else. So trust me, Vici been through music industry is about the shadiest one there is. And uh, for him to come this far, you know, you know he's got to have some talent. So I'm gonna come down here. The PD has been wiped off. Let me go ahead and wipe the rest of it off. I'm going to do what's known as final inspection. I'm going to read the prescription off of here. I'm going to turn the axis wheel to 145. Put it in as a as back to 250. Put the PD back on there. But I'm reading 250, exactly halfway minus 250, behind, halfway between 2 and 3. The red numbers are the minus signs. That's because Vici is nearsighted. But this glass is off. He can see everything up close. Great see his fingerprints still that ship has sailed for me but as he starts to hold things further and further away they get blurry so that's why his lens is minify it's the opposite of a magnifying lens his lens is minify an object down to the correct size now once it's the correct size he has a full diopter four steps of astigmatism correction everything in the measurement in the optical world is called a diopter spelled d-i-o-p-t-e-r starts at zero goes up in quarter increments 0 0.25 0 0.50 0 0.75 1 so he's on the 10th rung of a ladder here he's going to end up being on the 14th rung combined but so he has a 250 spherical component once everything in the correct size uncorrected astigmatism makes sixes and eights look alike or the letters p and f 
think of as the fine tune knob it is 90 degrees away from that 250 so now the full dop is actually a steeper curve this is the 250 it's even steeper it's how we line those two curves up to make everything crisp and we're going to line that up at the 145 meridian so we're now going to read the that's where at 145 we're going to read the second power we end up at minus 350 exactly halfway between three and four how did we get there remember high school math where you add two like signs together yeah don't worry at least i don't you might remember i don't but let's use today's terms if someone borrowed two dollars and fifty cents from you they then they borrowed another dollar they would owe you 350 that's where we had 350 in the red now the left eye same amount of minification but you only need three steps correction in the left eye now these first two numbers are real values to be concerned with this last number could be anywhere from 0 to 180 a straight line is 0 to 90 to 180 for the right eye we're going to turn that axis wheel to 145 for the left eye we're going to turn it to 35 that is known as the oblique axis this is the this is the x axis the y axis and then you have the oblique meridian so this is like an x 45 degrees away from the major meridians so not that anyone needs to know that but i just like that now the kazao 664 normally sells for 570 by the way that's the one in the poster right here in the corner the kazao 664 kazao legends that is it that is the one that's in my poster in this corner but this kazao oh, got a little optical sawdust back there let me clean that off but the Kazal normally sells for $570. It is 20% off in 2020. So it brings the total down to $456. Now the Zeiss Photo Fusion Extra Gray is $129.99. And the Gold Flash Mirror, all five colors, silver, gold, green, blue, or red, is $69.99 for a total of $655.98 tax-free. The reason why I tell everyone tax-free is a lot of people on the internet are having to charge tax now. I'm in North Carolina. North Carolina considers eyeglasses a medical device, which is what it is. North Carolina does not collect tax on medical devices. So that's how I'm able to remain tax free. So if you were to buy these from anyone else at that same price, $655.98, and the state sales tax in North Carolina is 7.5%, you would owe another $49.19 in tax. You keep that money almost 50 bucks. Keep that in your pocket. Go do something nice. Give it to someone who's struggling or do it with, you, with your family or on you. You know, hey, you keep that extra 50 bucks. I don't need it. I'm not going to give it to the government. So you do something with it. And um, use my hand approved drying method. Take that off. Add to my sticker collection. Now here's something else I'm proud of. The first 11 months I, when I left my job and was self-employed. This is the first 11 months when I went out on my own since I've launched... The, where I'm at now, look at that. That's less than two years. I'm coming up on my two year anniversary of moving to this spot. Look at that. Now, some people look at their bank account and see their sense of accomplishment. I look at this. I put two of these on here at a time. These are all the lives I'm impacted. My superpower is I bend light. When light comes in, this is your retina. This is the front of your eye. When light comes in here, especially with astigmatism, it scatters on the back of your retina. I focus it. Called point focus to one spot on the macula in your eye. The light is coming in here from all directions. From every angle around. From out by your ear, inside your nose is coming in. I focus. I bend the light and put it in one place. I've done that for that many lives. And I'm going to keep on going. I'm going to change some lives with these too. And there's many more ideas coming after this. So. Now let me finish the final inspection. Turn the axis wheel, the fine tune knob to 35. Read the first power in here. And I'm at minus 250, exactly halfway between 2 and 3. Now he only has 3 steps in the left eye, so we're going to end up at 3 and a quarter. Because again, someone borrowed $2.50 from you, then they borrowed another 75 cents. 3 and a quarter. That's what they owe. Now the last part of final inspection is to measure your PD, your pupillary distance, and the optical center height. I'm going to turn the card around. I'm going to hold it over my thumb and then measure. There we're getting 63 millimeters. The optical center height is 26. Turn the card around, place that. And then when you look at the thickest point of the frame, not the lens, it is 26 millimeters at the deepest point. 
26 millimeters so that is cut perfect the very last thing i need to do in the final inspection is to make sure these are in standard alignment now when you get these in the mail vici flame mr v sir vici lord vici how's that um but when you get these in the mail there's a chance these could be too loose or too tight however there's an 80 percent chance that one side is going to sit higher than the other that's because 80% of people have one ear that is higher than the other. And I'm no different. I'm part of that 80%. But because of that statistic, 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them. But I'm going to get these in standard alignment first, also known as a three-point stance. And we're in the middle of this coronavirus. If we don't, that doesn't get cleared up there, we ain't going to see it in any football. No more three-point stances. The real three-point stance. But the three points on the frame are one, two, and the bottom of the frame being three. I set them on the counter and press down. There is no wobble. Now, when I say wobble, when I take mine off and press down, they wobble on the counter. But they sit level on me. For those of you keeping score at home, I am wearing the Versace 3245, the blue tortoise with the platinum. It's got the Medusa emblem on both sides. And it's actually a blue tortoise. This is, what is the color code? Again, model number 3245, color code 5237, the blue tortoise with the platinum. I'm, I wear a lot of blue, but I'm going to put it back on. And this one, the last weeks, from now on, I'm only wearing one of my designs. Only, only. I may have to auction off all my Ray-Ban Oakley's Versace's because I'm just not going to wear them anymore. That's, hey, hey, we all reach a point in our lives to say, hey. I'm not working for Versace anymore. I'm not working for Ray-Ban. I'm not working for Oakley. I'm working for me. Well, all praise to above. That's who I'm working for. And then my family next. So, but flip these over, press down. There is no wobble. Close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly. And they do that neither temple is askew. Now, this is what your lenses look like. Now, you can see the gold flash mirror on the back of the lens while they're still clear. When I activate them, you're going to see the anti-glare coating on the back of the lens. But this is what your lenses look like clear before I've activated them, meaning that I'm exposed them to a strong burst of ultraviolet light. Now, as you can see, it takes about 30 to 45 seconds for the lenses to darken. A little bit longer when you come back inside. 45 seconds to a minute, minute 15 to return back to virtually clear. Now, Vici Flame, this is important to everyone else listening. All photochromic transition lenses will turn dark on day one and continue to darken every day for the first couple of weeks they're exposed to the sun. After that, they will work for years at maximum performance. The only time they won't work is if you're behind the windshield of a car. Your windshield absorbs the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays that would cause your dashboard to crack from sitting in the sun all day. That's why they don't turn dark in a car. Now, having said that, these extra active will get 30 to 50% dark behind a windshield. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Man, that is dope. That is dope. That is nice. With that gold trim, boom. When you go, who's who's that old white guy in <laughs> with the GoPro camera on his head looking at your glasses? Man, that's how good the reflection. I can see if I got any, I can see if I got any broccoli in my teeth. But um, some kale, that's the new thing. Are you, uh, everyone out there, are you eating enough kale? <laughs> I'm just messing with you. But the other thing about photochromic transition lenses is that they're temperature sensitive. I mean, they will get darker when it's 85 and below than they will when it's 95 and above. But I remind everyone, when it is 100 degrees outside, you're miserable, they're miserable. Nobody works 100% when it's 100 degrees outside. We all work much better once it cools off. But again, having said that, these extra active are designed for extra active people who spend extra amounts of time outside and these will get darker in hotter weather. So people in California, Texas, Louisiana, Florida, anywhere where it's hot all the time, or if you're just light sensitive, you want a real dark lens. Now the mirror coatings only come on the extra active. You can get the regular transitions and, and gray, brown, green, or blue. You see me rock the blue in some, but, uh, cause I'm all about some blue and, uh, but yeah, these only come and as I keep talking, this is going to get lighter and lighter. Now, when you look out, you see gray, just like sunglass gray, just like, you know, what came in here. But when people look at you, they're going to see the gold mirror. And again, it's already starting to fade. It takes about, uh, what did I say? Yeah, a minute to a minute 15 to return back to virtually clear. But do me a favor. Give me a thumbs up on this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you haven't already, you can uh, click the bell icon. That way you'll get future notifications 
as frame and lens combinations like this become available there will be a link in the description below on if you want this frame the Kazal 664 now it does come in more colors I just have this color on the website but I can get you the matte black the crystal and I believe it comes in a raspberry red as they call it but again there's a red flash mirror that would look good with this too so but uh, if you have any questions just go to the contact me page of the website there's my email there's my phone number you can call me if uh, you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram as free prescription lenses on Twitter as free RX lenses and Lord Vici Flame thank you so much for having the faith in me to do these for you I'm the only optician in the world that literally shows you what I do so thank you for the purchase of the Kazal 664 thank you for the, the inspirational stuff I've read about you following your dreams the good energy that you do because there's so much truth to all of that look we're all gonna put out energy it can either be positive it can be negative you might as well put out some good positive energy and just don't let anyone else get in your way just chill and have a good time but thank you for the purchase of the Kazal 664 slash 3 color 001 the black and gold with the uh, photochromic transitions extra active gray in the gold flash mirror and now hopefully everyone else has gotten a chance to see how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses thank you